let me ask you, what's in your hand? On today's Move Your Mountain, we're going to answer that very question. Also, Pastor Rebecca and Pastor Myra are here to just usher us into the Lord's wonderful presence through worship. We're going to take Holy Communion and we're going to be praying for that miracle to manifest for you. What? Welcome everyone to Move Your Mountain. We're so blessed and glad you've tuned into today's program. Do you need a mountain moved in your life today? I'll tell you what, we are going to just go after it today. We're going to cast out yeah. spirits. We're going to pray for healings and miracles. We are just going to just speak to those mountains yes. in your life to be removed and cast into the sea. Yes. So just get ready, get ready, get ready. Yes. Amen. I'm Pastor Gary here with Pastor Myra, Pastor Jonathan, and Pastor Rebecca. Hail, yes. hail, the gang's all here. Woo. Back <laughs> at it once again, and we're glad that you are here. So excited. What a great start to 2024. We are really looking forward to watching mountains get moved in your life. And so no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're facing, you have tuned into the right place because God has a miracle for you. So unite your faith with us Amen. because Pastor Myra, we're going in like Pastor Gary said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and today is your day. Today is your day. Come on, come so on. name that thing, put it before the Lord yeah. and God is going to move on your behalf today. Say it to yourself, today is my day. Yeah. God is going to move on your behalf. So get yourself ready. Get ready yes. for God to do great things Amen. inside of you, around you, and for you. Watch what he does. Amen. I pray that you at home can fill our expectation of what we know God is able to do. The word of God tells us that he's our healer. He's our provider. He can take care of any need that you have today. And we believe for you today that that is going to happen. So. Let your expectation be high in Jesus today and expect the miracle that he has for you. It's there. We've got to expect it and receive it in Jesus name. Amen. And remember, if you need prayer, we believe in the power of prayer, the prayer of agreement. Right. The phone number is there on your screen, 888-665-4483. After the prayer partner prays with you, they're going to bring all the requests over to the altar and we're going to conclude our time together with the four of us setting ourselves in agreement, praying and releasing that miracle and breakthrough into your life. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to take Holy Communion together. So make sure you get your elements, a cracker, a piece of bread, some juice in a cup, because we want you to participate and engage with us. Well, let's go to a wonderful passage in the book of Acts. I love the book of Acts because it teaches us how to act. <laughs> <laughs> Acts chapter yes. 3 and verse 1, it says, Now Peter and John, they went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful the beautiful gate to ask alms from those who entered the temple who seeing peter and john about to go into the temple asked for alms and fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, look at us. And so he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have 
but what I have I give to yes. you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Mm -hmm. I began this program by asking you, what's in your hand? Mm -hmm. What's in your hand? I love what Peter said. He said, such as I have, I give. You see, when you and I invite Christ into our heart, he comes into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says the same Spirit mm -hmm. that raised Christ from the dead lives and dwells in us. And that Spirit is a healing Spirit. That Spirit is the anointing of the presence of the Lord. And the first point is simply this. You and I, we are carriers. Amen. You are a carrier of God's anointing. You are carrying something. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's exciting to me. <laughs> it's exciting. God created you for his glory. And you have been, those of you who are born again, yes. you have been placed mm -hmm. in the body as God pleased. Yeah. As God was pleased to put you there for purpose. You're a carrier of God's anointing. And let me say this to you, and I want you to think about this thing, that your anointing, what God wants, you, wants to do through you, mm -hmm. your anointing is no less significant than anybody else's anointing. You may see people on TV, you may see people on the internet, on, on the internet, social media, but your anointing is no less significant than anyone else's. So let God use you. He's anointed yeah. you for his purpose. Amen. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons why, I, I, when I read this text, I picture uh, Peter and John, they're on their normal day-to-day -day routine. They, they went up to the temple mm -hmm. and this man who maybe, they, they, they've had to have encountered this man at some point in time because he's been getting laid there every day. He's been Sorry. lame his entire life life. And so each and every day, and maybe this wasn't even the first time that this guy had asked them mm -hmm. for money. And, and Peter says, look at us. And, and when I read that, I, I picture Peter saying like, hey man, look at us. Do we look like we've got <laughs> money to help you out? Like we're trying yeah, to figure this out ourselves. But there are situations and, and circumstances in our lives in the course of our day-to-day -day activity where God will place an unforeseen demand on us. Mm -hmm. And even in our natural response of saying, God, I don't got anything to give. Yeah. That's when God reminds us that you have my spirit right. alive inside of you. And maybe right. you're sitting there right now and watching and, and you feel like God has been placing a demand on your life. And you say, I have no physical means, physical means to meet this demand. God has allowed it to happen to remind you that you have everything you need for life and godliness according to your knowledge of him. So whatever you're going through right now, man, we love when you pick up the phone at 888-665-4483 and allow us to carry the anointing that we have to meet with faith your prayer request. But I want to encourage you right now, that same anointing is alive inside of you. And I want to encourage you, whatever you're facing right now, whatever situation seems like a high demand that you can't meet, mm -hmm. let it change your perspective to know that God's anointing is alive inside of you. And just like we said at the outset of this program, speak to that mountain right yeah. now. Yeah. You have God's anointing alive inside of you. And that's, mm -hmm. as, as I've grown in my faith, Pastor Rebecca, mm -hmm. I've loved watching how God through circumstances yeah. has reminded me that I have everything I need, that's not right. just so that I can get along, but so that I can be an encouragement to others. And I think that's an important part is recognizing that God has given you giftings. He's given you giftings. Mm -hmm. He's given you and you at home. He's given you giftings yes. as well. And he's anointed you for a specific purpose. Yeah. Like Pastor Myra said, there's no insignificant person nope. in the kingdom of God. And there are people that you're going to, you're going to be able to affect and you're going to be able to reach that those of us here in the studio will never 
be able to help, will never be able to give the good news to. And can I tell you, I, I remember the word of God in Isaiah chapter 61, verse one. It talks about Jesus. He was anointed to bring good news to the poor, to set at liberty those that were bound, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captive free. So what do you have to give? You may not have the, the silver and gold, just like those that Peter and John said, we don't have that but you have the power of God. You have the peace of God. You have the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You have the ability to speak peace into a situation that is chaotic into someone's life, into your own life today. You have the ability to speak hope into someone who is feeling hopeless. You may not have all the things to give them, but they don't need things. This man didn't need things. He was there year right after there. year. He didn't need the things. He needed an encounter with Jesus. And that encounter brought the exact thing that he needed, which was a healing in his body. So you today, you may be at home and you're saying, I need that encounter. Well, we're going to be the ones that stand in a gap for you today, just like Peter and John did for this man and said, we don't have silver and gold to offer you, but what we have is Jesus. And in his name, yep. we can say, rise up and walk. It's not in our name. It's not in the things that we do, but it's in Jesus. And so today, whatever you're struggling with, Give it to him. Be that carrier of his anointing. When you meet people out in the world around you, maybe in your own family, be the carrier of his anointing, bringing hope, bringing peace, bringing life into their lives today. Amen. Amen. You know, I remember growing up and uh, my mom, every Sunday would call all of her children, all six of us, to come around the television when Oral Roberts was on. Mm. And Oral Roberts, so often, he would stretch out his hand and he would say, I want you to put your hand, if you even want to put it on the TV, like you're touching his hand. And he would pray for miracles and for healings to happen. I remember that so vividly. And, and there, there's, there's, there's a, a lady named Ashley that's watching right now who you've been battling a sinus infection. And, and, and I just say, in the name of Jesus Christ, sinuses be opened, blockages be removed, and be healed right now in Jesus Christ's name. Then in Acts 3, verse 7, it says, And he took him, Peter took him by the right hand, and he lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength, so that he leaping up stood and walking and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And I love this. And all the people saw him. They all knew him because he had been there all his life, walking and praising God. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. My second point, and it is so true, miracles are contagious. It's like when one person receives their breakthrough, yeah. it could be like popcorn, the, the, the faith, the, the energy, the anointing just begins to spread. I've seen it happen in services. We've seen it happen here throughout this program. I'm telling you, sometimes God would take one miracle and revival would break out in a whole city and region because of just one person being the catalyst. Amen. And God wants to be glorified. He wants to be praised and lifted up. And so he wants to hear your praise when he gives that healing, when he allows that miracle to take place in your life, which he will, that's his promise. When he does that, he wants you to praise him because he wants others to receive that, that same excitement, that same faith, that same belief that he is the God of all gods. He is the King of Kings. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above those things that we can ask and that we can think in our own little minds compared to God. Our minds are so minute and God, we just need him to come in and, and do those miracles and then speak it out when, when he's done those miracles, when we see those things that have happened, be a testimony, speak it out so that others can see the greatness of God because he desires to be praised. I can only imagine what was going on in that temple when the people saw this man who had been laying there that they had brought to the temple. They didn't have anything to give to him. Only Jesus could do this for him. 
And when they brought him here and they saw the miracle that happened, can you imagine in your life when you start proclaiming the miracles of God that have happened in your life, when he set you free, when he heals your body, which I believe he's going to even today, when that happens and you begin proclaiming that to those that are around you, the contagious praise that's going to happen, that's going to please the Lord. And yeah. not only will that contagious praise happen, contagious miracles yeah. will happen yeah. as a result. Yeah. Yeah. You're watching right now and you're wondering what's going on in you. <laughs> Think about this man. He had laid, laid there yeah. all of his life. He had been uh, lame mm -hmm. all of his life. So the question in my mind when I read this previously, I'm like, well, how did he know that he gained strength uh -huh. in his feet, in his legs? Yeah, come on. Right now, <laughs> God is moving That's inside good. of you moving and, and stirring up and giving you strength on the inside. And you're wondering, what is this thing? Just like that man. But the next thing that the man did right. was get yeah. up. Yeah. Now's your time. Now's your mm -hmm. season yeah. to get up yeah. and praise God. Get up and do what you didn't do before. Yeah. God is going to work miracles through you. God is going to speak through you. It's contagious. It's contagious because you speak. God is going to let that filter into other people. Don't be afraid. That which is going on right now, right now inside of you, it's contagious. Mm -hmm. Let God use you. Let him use you. And it is he who is able to do exceeding abundantly above anything that you could ask or think or the people that you speak to or minister to could right. ask or think according to the power that's working mm -hmm. in that's you. It. That's it. That's it. Amen. Well, and, 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 and I believe right now there are some of you that are watching and you've gotten used to being carried by other people. Mm -hmm. you've, you've identified mm -hmm. yourself with your affliction to the degree that yeah. you can't even believe that God wants to do something in your life. And I believe God wants you to hear something right now. Money is not going to fix it. You're asking the wrong people. The reason why this man had not had his breakthrough yet is because he had not asked somebody that had the spirit of God inside of them. And I see a lot of people, I go on social media, I try not to, but I go on there. It's, it's where so many people are. And so many people, they just, you, 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 you put your, your, your trouble or your affliction out there and you're, you're putting this out there. And what, you don't need a check. You don't, you need a touch from God. That's and right. so I wanna challenge you right now pick up the phone and call 888-665-4483. I condemn the voice of the enemy that says, don't do that, that's not gonna work. I bind his voice in your life right now. And I challenge you to pick up that phone and watch God not give you the thing that you think you need, but the thing that you actually need. A yeah. touch from him. 2024 yeah. is going to be a season of faith and miracles, but you have to believe, you have to feel it. Like Pastor Myra said, deep down inside of you, do not quench that stirring that is in you right now. It's been a long time since you felt this stirring and you've just tried to push it down and just say, oh, that's not me. Oh, the yes, it is you. And I, I encourage you right now. We've come alongside you today to be like Peter and lift you up. I love how Peter lifted him up before he knew a miracle had taken place because that's because Peter wasn't resting on what he saw with his eyes. He knew God was gonna do something in this man's yeah. life and we know that God is going to do something in your life. That's why we're here. That's why we're on the air. That's why Cornerstone Network exists because we know that God wants to do something in your life and I want to encourage you right now. Let that yeah. smile stretch across your face because God is going to do it. I want you to just say that right now. God is doing Amen. it in me. That's I am right. a carrier of God's anointing. I receive your anointing right now, God. And then after God does that thing in your life, we want you to call back and let us know what God has done in your life because your miracle is gonna be the contagion for the miracle in somebody else's life because you're not the only person that's struggling with, will God do it for me? Mm -hmm. So we want you to call and let us know what God has done in your life because God wants miracles to break out yeah. all across the globe and your testimony might be the catalyst for a miracle in somebody else's life. Amen.
You see, we all have a sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God used the healing, the miracle yep. in this one man yep. to just allow the gospel to be preached to hundreds and thousands of people. Yep. In fact, Peter took advantage of that miracle and he stood up right after this man Ooh, began to on. walk and leap and praise God yeah. and he began to preach the gospel to the crowd yep. that had gathered there in the temple. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because the miracle was the attraction, yeah. but then Peter took that sphere of influence and he used it to advance the kingdom of God. Yeah. And there are many of you that God wants to put a miracle and manifest it in your life so that your family, your friends, your church, your neighbors, your loved ones will then be drawn to hear what the Lord has done and you then can use your sphere of influence to proclaim the good news of the gospel to them. Amen. I love what Mason Rudolph is doing as our Steelers quarterback, as he's taking advantage of this opportunity and he's giving God the glory. I love it. And the other quarterback, C.J. Stroud, who's the quarterback for the Houston Texans. He, he, he had a t-shirt on the other day with the picture of Christ on it. And he stood up and he said, God is so much bigger than football. He said, football is my platform Preaching the gospel is my purpose. Oh. And you and I have got to use our sphere of influence just like this man did in the book of Acts, just like Peter did. Peter said he got up to preach and in verse 16 he says, and in his name, through faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and who you know mm -hmm. and yes faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all yes. and the third point is that it does it requires faith in his name yes. without faith it's impossible to please that's God right. that's right and many times we as believers will make the mistake of thinking that somebody else has to have faith for us. Mm. Did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. You have to have faith. We can join our faith and we do. We come on here to join our faith with your faith. But God is saying to us, he requires faith. Mm -hmm. He's looking for you to have faith in him and God will honor your faith when you touch him with your faith, it's not the prayer, those words only. It is the faith that you have. And without faith, as you were saying, without faith, it's impossible for us to please right. him. And mm -hmm. when you come to God, you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of you who seeks him, of you who goes after him diligently. God is going to honor your faith today and your mountain is going to move because you stop doubting and say it in faith. Jesus said it. He said that if you just say it to the mountain, believe it, don't doubt, give thanks in the midst of all of that and watch your mountain move. Your mountain is moving on today. Yes. And there's some of you watching, you're wondering, you've, you're asking yourself right now and you're saying, well, why have I been in this affliction so long? You know, Pastor Gary mentioned Mason Rudolph, who his bold declaration after his first win as the starting quarterback this, this the couple of weeks ago, he hadn't started a game in many, many years. That's mm -hmm. right. The Steelers kept bringing in quarterback after quarterback and pushing him further down the depth mm. chart. And this man that we just read about in Acts chapter 3, the Bible was clear. He had been lame from his mother's womb. Right. And there are some of you that are watching right now and you're saying, why has God allowed this affliction in my life mm -hmm. to persist? Well, you must be reminded, beloved, that James 1 says to rejoice in every trial 
because these things come for the perfecting and the maturing of our faith. So God has not allowed this to happen because he's angry at you. He's not allowed this to happen because he's forgot about you or that he's unaware. God has allowed it to persist so that your faith might become strong. But right now, as you watch this, what if today is your day at the gate called beautiful? What if today is your day, the moment that your faith has been allowed to mature to the point so that you can stand up and walk? And I decree today, today is the end of your lameness. Today is the That's end right. of your affliction. Today is the end of what seems like day after day after day of denial. I've heard a preacher once say it like this, God's delay is not God's denial. Right. But right now, right now, God wants to do the thing that you've been waiting right. for him to do. So I encourage you to let your faith arise, not faith in this thing or that thing, but faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your faith in his name and watch what God will do. Amen, amen. There's no other name that can bring healing, that can bring deliverance, that can bring whatever it is that you are having need of in your life today, mm -hmm. but the name of Jesus. So I wanna encourage you today, as we're praying, as we're speaking to you, call that number 888-665-4483 and allow us to encourage you, allow our prayer partners to pray with you. And they're gonna bring those prayer requests out to the altar here, as Pastor Gary said earlier, and we're all gonna lay hands on them together, believing God for the impossible to be possible in your life. Well, Pastor Rebecca, we're going to ask you to head over to the worship set. And uh, we want you just to put yourself in a posture of receiving right now as she ministers to us. Believe for it. They say these chains will never break But they don't know you like we do There is power in your name We've heard that there is no way through We've heard the tide will never change they haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. So much power in your name. Move the immovable. Break the unbreakable. God, we believe. God, we believe for it.
You know, I love the line in that song, break the unbreakable. And, and there's someone watching. You, you've been under this, this yoke of oppression and depression. And you just feel like you haven't been able to shake it or break it. But I'm here to tell you today, there yes. is an anointing that is breaking yes. that oppression and depression off of your life right now in Jesus Christ's name. There's, there's many of you watching that fear has just gripped and paralyzed you. And in the name of Jesus, God has not given you that spirit of fear. And, and that, that perfect love is casting it out yes. right now. Yes. We yes. cast out all fear from your life. The fear of this COVID virus. The fear oh of whatever premature death. The fear of, of cancer. I break it off of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just receive it right now. You're struggling in your faith. Just receive it like a child would. Just receive it like Come your on. Father in heaven has said it, and it will be so. And right now it's becoming so in your life. And so just, just receive it now. The Bible says if we believe that we have received it, it will be ours. That's the verse where we get the name for this program yeah. in Mark 11. Yeah. But yeah. you must believe that you have received it in order for it to be yours. Yeah, yeah. And, and right now, I, I want to pray for some ministers who have been struggling whether to, to vocally make that stand for Christ, mm -hmm. for holiness, for righteousness. God has called you for such a time mm -hmm. as this. It's not going to be long before Christ comes back to get the church. And he wants to use you. So right now I pray for you. boldness yes. in the Holy yes. Ghost, boldness to speak his word, to stand for his word, not to have fear, but God wants to use you mightily right now in the name of Jesus. And you shall be filled with power and demonstration of his spirit. It yes. shall be done. Don't fear. God is at work in you. Oh my God. There's a grandmother that is watching right now and your daughter and her husband just got word that their child has a heart condition and God wants you to step out by faith and pray for them. You've been saying, I don't know that I have the boldness to do that. Just as Pastor Myra was saying, I don't have the boldness to do that. But he's saying, I want you to be that person, that conduit that I can use right now to speak into your son-in-law and your daughter's life, healing over that child. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for boldness for this grandmother right now that you would give her the words of wisdom to speak into the life of her son and her daughter, God. Lord, I pray that you would give her the prayers to pray, God, that would bring healing into this child. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for wholeness. We ask for a, a completely healed baby. And Father, I just thank you right now that that is going to increase the faith of this son and daughter. And they're going to be those that proclaim your goodness and your miracle working power. Father, it is going to be a contagious miracle that occurs in this life. Their lives will not just be a Affected, but those around them, and I thank you for it. Now step out in faith and pray. Step out in faith and do what God has called you to do today. Amen. Praise you, Lord. There's somebody you've been battling endometriosis, and I just speak healing to your stomach lining right now. Be healed and restored in Jesus' name. Remember, we're going to take communion in just a few moments. So make sure you get your elements, a cracker, a piece of bread, some juice in a cup. If you need prayer, the phone line is there, 888-665-4483. We always value and appreciate people when you call back when you've received your answer. And Jacqueline has done that. Jacqueline called the prayer line to pray for herself to be healed. She went to the hospital because of throat issues. She works in a stress testing lab and she knows a lot of medical issues, but she also knows that by the Lord's stripes, yes. she has been made whole. And after prayer, she was released from the hospital. Praise God. And we're believing 
for God to just heal and yes. complete that healing in Jacqueline and in many of you oh, that are also just maybe waiting on test results, waiting just to just see the manifestation of your miracle. Yes. Also, Sue called. Sue decided to call Cornerstone Television after being very, very worried about her credit card. She didn't know if it was lost or stolen. The prayer partner prayed for God's peace and to heal her. And after prayer, she found her credit card. She's thankful and praises the Lord for it. God answers prayer. Yes, I resemble that remark. I ask God all the time, where is this or where is that? And there are times that, that I would look for something. It might be keys or whatever it is and just ask God where it's, I said, Lord, now I know I looked there uh -huh. before, yeah. but now here they are sitting right in front of me. God will move on your behalf because of our faith. Amen. And that's, that's something that gets often overshadowed is that there is nothing too big to ask for and nothing that's so small that it's insignificant. That's right. Everything Huge. is important to God. And you know what? Sometimes like the, the definition of a miracle often resides in, in our hearts. Was it a supernatural act of God? You know, we, we hear about the testimony of somebody being healed and released from the hospital. We say, mm -hmm. yay. And then we hear about somebody asking for prayer to find their credit card and we don't, a miracle is a miracle. That's right. And God is no respecter of persons. That's right. And he is full of miracles right. for you. And so give him. You know, I, I just had this thought. And this might sound like an, an odd thought. But I wonder if, if Christians believe for miracles the same way people believe that they're going to hit the lottery. Mm. I know people that go to get scratch offs or play their numbers every day. Mm. They've never hit and they've done it for 30 years and who knows where that money went, but it ain't in their pocket anymore. <laughs> but they keep doing it yeah. in the belief that one day uh -huh. they might hit that number. What if we started believing for miracles in the same way? You know what? I may not hit, but I'm going to show up every day <laughs> and ask. I'm going to ask my father in heaven because you know what? I believe that I'm his child. That's right. And I believe that he has more than enough. And can I tell you something? God is more dependable than the lottery. That's it. Ask him. Yeah. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened up for you. Well, we're going to take Holy Communion. So if you have your elements, let's get them now. Pastor Rebecca, would you pray over the elements for us? Sure. Father, we just praise you for your goodness to us. We praise you, Lord, that we can come before you and that because of your body and your blood that you gave for each and every one of us, that healing is possible, that deliverance is possible, that freedom from every addiction, from everything that has us bound is possible because what you did at Calvary. And Jesus, we just take time right now away from the busyness of our lives, away from our busy schedules, and we say thank you. We remember the sacrifice. It wasn't an easy thing for you to have to do. But God, you looked ahead in time and you saw each and every one of us that would be here today. Those have passed throughout generations and you said it might not be easy, but it is so worth it. And so God, I just thank you today. We thank you and praise you for your blood that was shed for our sins, for your body that was broken for our healing today. And we rejoice because you are coming back soon. And we just praise you and remember your love for us in Jesus name. Amen. Now remember, before we take communion, the Bible says, examine your heart. If there's anybody you need to forgive, if you're holding on to unforgiveness, an offense, a grudge, would you release that and let it go? It is not worth it. It's like a pent up poison in your own system and body. And if you've never invited Christ, to come into your heart and be the savior of your life, just ask him right now. Just say, dear Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be the savior and the Lord of my life. And if you would just pray that simple prayer sincerely and mean it, Jesus goes where he's invited. So, Take your cracker, your bread, eat of it now and be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.
healing. Just let healing virtue right now go through your body from the top of your head down through you all the way down through your extremities, down through the feet, your feet in Jesus' name. Be healed, be delivered and set free by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then lift your cup and take and drink and be washed and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just lift your hands and receive your miracle right now. Receive your miracle. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, we want to rejoice with Melody. She called and she committed her heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the family, Melody. And rose from State College. She called. She was away from God. She rededicated her heart and life to Jesus Christ. Wow, those are miracles right there. Those are miracles. The, that is the greatest miracle that exists, that we are changed from sinner to saint. Yeah. God changes us. And I just rejoice with Melody and, and the other. Sue, thank God that you're a part of us now. Amen. 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 Rose, yes, I'm sorry, Rose. All right, listen, if you are blessed by programs like this, like Move Your Mountain. It's, it's a new year. Would you pray about becoming a partner with us? Maybe you're a viewer, but you've never partnered with us by investing in this ministry with your gifts. Whether it's a one-time gift or a monthly gift, let me give you our address. It's Cornerstone Television Network. We're at 1 Signal Hill Drive in Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. Cornerstone Television Network, 1 Signal Hill Drive, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. And we thank you in advance for your partnership and your prayers. We also have a monthly newsletter if you are not receiving it, we'd love to send it to you. If you just call the prayer partner and say, I'd like to receive the newsletter. It's got great articles. It's got recipes, testimonies, and it always has our lineup of programming so you can find out when your favorite program is on. I hope it's this one. <laughs> well, we're going to head over to the altar while Pastor Rebecca sings for us. I love this. Miracle in the works. Some may say it's hopeless. They must have never met my God. Some may say it's over, but it was finished on the cross. Some may say it's broken, but the healer's in the room. Some may say it's hopeless, but I know God's about to move. Oh, God's about to move. Oh, there's a miracle in the world. Believe it. There's revival in the church. I can feel it. Some may see an ocean, but he's made a highway through. Some may see a mountain. But we've seen the mountain move. Some may see a graveyard, but we see an empty tomb. Some may see a battle, but I know there's a miracle in the works. And I believe it. There's revival in
Pastor Rebecca, I believe there's a miracle in the works and a lot of people watching us right now. Amen. And today is a new day for you. You may have heard it before that it's going to happen, it's gonna, but today is the day we are believing for that miracle in your life, in your family, in your home, whatever it is, we're agreeing together with you that God would bring that about in your lives. Yes, yes there's a miracle in the works for you. And the key to it is trusting God's process. God is at work. Mm -hmm in your life. Trust God's process. Amen. And don't give up. That's don't right. stop. That's right. Keep pressing in. That's right. right now, I just want you to apprehend that reality and even make that the, 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 the mantra of your soul right now that I'm not going to give up for I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So keep the faith. Let it increase and mature as your miracle breaks forth in your life. And these are all of you that just recently just called in. All of the requests are here on the altar. In fact, there's a lot of you that have written in. And there's somebody that you've written to Cornerstone. And you, you really just poured out your heart. You need a miracle. And there's somebody, there's a letter here on this altar that God said there's a miracle in the works for you. So just release your faith. We're going to pray right now. And you believe right there where you are. And let's claim that miracle today. Yes. Pastor yes. Meyer, would you begin for us, please? Father, we thank you when we pr and we praise you for the privilege mm. to come boldly to the throne of grace. Yes. To get whatever it is that we need, the help, the grace, the strength, the mercy yes. that we need. And we thank you right now for that. And we thank you, Father, that we have been given power over all the power of the adversary. And yes. so right now we come against yes. their, the enemy's hand in the lives of your people. Let them stand and be bold in you because of the Spirit of God. 
in them. And we say thank you even now for what you're going to do. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Would you please slip over to the piano so you could close us out Thank in you, worship? Jesus. Pastor Rebecca, yes. would you pray, please? Father, we just glorify your name because we know the source for every need that we have is in your name, Jesus. And Father, I pray for those that may be facing years and years of an illness in their body or years and years of relationships that have been in turmoil. Father, I pray now that today that that would end. Father, whatever has caused the delay in the answer, Lord, that it would stop, Lord, and that you would bring bring about the answer that they are needing right now. Lord, I pray for healing in the bodies of those that are watching, Lord, that have been battling nonstop, whether it's the flu, whether it's COVID, whether it's yes. many other things, Lord, we yes. just stand against that in the name of Jesus. And we ask that your healing protection would be upon them, God, and that you would guard them and keep them from any sickness and any disease, Lord Jesus. Father, we just thank you that your word in Psalm 91 says that you will keep us, that you will protect us. And so we stand on that word today. Father, Father, we pray against everything that would come against families today, the, the powers that come against and try to destroy and divide families, God. I pray restoration in the homes, Lord, in marriages, in the lives of children with their parents, Father. I pray that you would bring them back to a place where they honor you, where they serve you, that they recognize that you are their only hope, you are their foundation. And Father, as they do, that they would see things coming back together as you have purposed, as you have planned. Father, I pray that you would put our eyes, let our eyes be fixed on you and gazed on you, the miracle worker, the one who is able to do all that we need in our lives, God. And we just thank you right now for the miracles that we're going to hear about, the testimonies that we're going to hear yes. about. You are doing it. You are working it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise you, God. We just pray for wholeness thank right you, now, Jesus. God. Come on. We pray for wholeness in Precious people's God. bodies. Yes, God. Wholeness, soundness of mind. Wholeness in our emotions. Wholeness in our, in our limbs, in our extremities, Lord God. I just pray for wholeness right now in families. Yes. Where there's been dysfunction or fractures, Lord yes, God. We yes, do yes. pray for wholeness, for completeness. We, we pray for wholeness, Lord God, in our nation. In at a time where... People seem to be so broken and so fractured and one side against the other. Lord God, we pray for wholeness, Lord God, that we would return to being one nation under God, indivisible. And we pray for wholeness in our world, Lord God. And we know that it's only in the name of Jesus. It's only under the banner of Christ that we can truly be unified and find our wholeness. And so we lift high the name of Jesus. The same name that was effective in healing a man lame from his mother's womb at the gate called Beautiful yes, almost 2,000 years ago. That name still has the same power and we release the power of that name over people, over families, over this nation and over this world. In Jesus' name, Praise you, God. amen. Yes, Lord. And Lord, as our world is in so much turmoil and chaos, you instructed us to pray for the peace of Israel in Jerusalem. And we do that right now. We lift up the nation. We lift up the people. Lord, we claim Zephaniah 2-7 that all of the captives that are still being held will be found and released safely in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, I just break every spirit of chaos and confusion off of your life today. And we say shalom, shalom. God's perfect peace be upon you. Well, we trust you were blessed by today's Move Your Mountain. We're going to ask Pastor Myra to just take us out by just worshiping the Lord and just allowing his presence to permeate your life today. God bless you. We love you. Have a gate beautiful in your life today. Precious Holy Spirit, blow afresh on us. Fill us up, oh God.
If self-help isn't getting you anywhere, it's time for God's power. Have you grown accustomed to bad habits, written off lifelong battles as unwinnable, or believed that some destructive behaviors can never be altered? Then The Seven Resolutions is for you. This book will teach you how to overthrow old patterns, create new life systems, and take hold of God's promises. Resolve to join God, think truth, kill sin, choose friends, take risks, focus effort, and redeem time. Never settle for too little. The time is now for humble dependence on God and a plan to walk in His power. It's time to come alive in 2024. Request The Seven Resolutions when you give to support Cornerstone Television this month. Call 888-665-4483 or give online at ctvn.org slash donate. Help us spread the gospel with renewed strength in 2024. Thank you.